Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the HJC i90 helmet. i90 is HJC's flip front helmet in the most popular and most competitive price bracket of all, around about £200. At the moment this helmet is £179.99 in plain colours and £199.99 in graphics like this one. The i90 comes with a polycarbonate shell which is consistent with pretty much every flip front helmet and certainly most in this price bracket. We've weighed this size medium i90 on our scales here and it came in at 1748 grams which is exactly what we would expect from a polycarbonate shelled flip front helmet like this. The i90's chin bar flips by pushing out the lever at the base and then just lifting. On the final step there's an extra piece of resistance that just holds that chin bar up and stops it automatically flipping down in front of your eyes. It's been safety tested both as an open face helmet with the chin bar raised and as a full face helmet with that chin bar closed. That means that legally you're allowed to wear this helmet in either configuration, but in HJC's owner's manual for this helmet, they strongly recommend that it's only ever ridden with the chin bar closed. So it's quite clear that they don't really want you to ride with the chin bar up, but they've done their best to make it as safe as possible as they can for, because they know that there are people who are gonna ride with the chin bar raised. I would say if you're looking for a helmet that can be used as either an open face or a full face and you're planning to spend any time with it as an open face then you'd be better looking at a convertible or flip over helmet like the Shark Evo series or the LS2 Valiant series where the configuration is much more suited to use in either open face or full face. Venting on the i90 comes from this simple and easy to operate slide switch at the top which reveals two holes come down into the interior of the helmet to allow some cooling air through and then there are channels in the polystyrene liner that allow that air to circulate towards the back of the helmet and then the warm air can escape through these vents which are permanently open at the back. In addition to that there's a chin vent at the base here which exposes this grill to allow some air to flow onto the inner surface of the visor. It's not quite so crucial with this helmet as it can be on some others because the visor is protected by a pinlock insert. It's a pinlock 70 which is pinlock's most basic grade of insert but there's perfectly decent misprotection from that and it's also a max vision insert so it covers the vast majority of the visible area so there's no impedance to your vision. It's a rapid fire HJC visor when it comes to the changing mechanism and it certainly lives up to the rapid part of that title. It's really quick and easy to change the visor on this helmet. But it's not something that you're really going to need to do very often, probably restricted to installing the pin lock and when you come to clean the inside of the visor because there's an internal sun visor. It operates from this lever on the side of the helmet and the final push, just give it that extra click more to securely and firmly have that into the raised position and when it's lowered it offers a good amount of protection extending as far as the breath guard inside. The sun visor on this helmet isn't anti-fog coated which is a shame but you can't have everything on a 200 pound helmet and one of the things that had to give on this was the anti-fog coating on that sun visor. So moving to the interior, it's super cool. Well that's what HJC call it anyway, this is their super cool moisture wicking interior. It's nice and soft inside, very well padded and the benefit of this is you don't need to have too thick a liner to this helmet because the i90 comes in three different shell sizes. So there's one shell size to cover helmet sizes extra small and small, another is shared between medium and large helmet sizes and then the biggest shell size covers helmet sizes XL and above. There's a benefit for spectacle wearers because this helmet is prepared for them. There are thinner sections just at the top of the cheek pads which leaves room around the temple for spectacle arms to comfortably fit inside the helmet. Finally with the interior, the strap fastens with, as you might expect from a flip front helmet, a micrometric buckle fastener. HJC have also thought hard about how an intercom will integrate with this helmet and this is one of their new smart HJC compatible helmets. There's a section at the nape of the neck where you undo these screws and that reveals a chamber in which you can sit the battery for one of their smart HJC intercoms. That means there's a lot slimmer control unit which then mounts to the left hand side of the shell and then there's room inside for speakers. 
There are two intercoms in the Smart HJC range, the 10B and the 20B, and we'll put links to both of those in the description for this video. The customer reviews on this helmet suggest the vast majority of people are really happy with their purchase. They've got a comfortable, good value flip front helmet. I hope that gives you every detail you want to know about the HJC i90 helmet, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.